Welcome back. New at six, a Sandy Springs business owner trying to recover thousands of dollars stolen from his online bank account. Well, he picked a virtual bank because it saved money on fees. What it didn't save was time. Here's Better Call Harry. And then I want you to go 10 curl with a lunge. Okay. It's been three years since Cody Park switched from fitness trainer to business owner. Got it. In 2019, he bought Formwell Personal Training in Sandy Springs. And a boy, good. What round are we on? He trains online and he banks online, keeping track of finances through the virtual online only bank lending club. And online just kind of seemed to be the place to go in terms of lower fees and not getting hit with all these fees like I was having at a brick and mortar bank. Virtual banking has popped up everywhere. Some, like Lending Club and Varro, are real banks, but others, like Chime and Walmart's GoBank, are technology companies that partner with banks. Consumer Reports money expert Chuck Bell. On the positive side, they're able to offer accounts that have uh, low fees or no fees, sometimes even higher interest rates that are being paid by bricks and mortar banks. Uh, but the flip side of that is they don't have an office in your community. Why would you need a physical bank? How about when someone steals your debit card number and starts buying thousands of dollars in cryptocurrency? That's what happened to Cody. In all, there were six charges to crypto.com for a total of $7,126.16. Long story short, I'm calling almost every day, if not every other day. Um, go through the, every, mind you, every time you've got to go through the call center and go through and prove it's you. So it's 15, 20 minutes before I actually get to talk to a person and actually rerun through my story again because it's always somebody different. It was a fraud. Somebody got my debit card. Cody takes the blame for not using two-factor authentication. But come on, this started last November. The fraud department actually closed the case because it determined the merchant has refunded the amount in question. And I'm like, heck yeah, did I miss something? Because I didn't see $7,000 back on my account. Lending Club says it has over 600 customer service representatives. But even so, it did not return Cody's money until we got involved. And even now, the credits are pending while Lending Club continues to investigate. Hold, please. Here's our take. Whether you use a brick and mortar bank or a virtual bank, there are two things that will save you. Number one, go online and set up two-factor authentication. And if they offer it, set up text alerts for transactions and withdrawals. I'm Better Call Harry, CBS 46 News.